Before we look at backward indexing across a Python string, let's have a quick look at this following range function here. What we have is this particular example, and x is assigned the range, and you can see you have minus 11, 0, and 1. Minus 11 is the start value, 0 is the stop value, and 1 is the step. Now when we take the schematic diagram of a function and we pass in these numbers here what we will get out from the range function is this and you can see it goes from minus 11 minus 10 minus 9 all the way to minus 1 the first thing we need to realize is that it's minus 11 because that was the start value we go from minus 11 to minus 10 because the step is 1 so when you go from minus 11 and you go up by 1, a step of 1, obviously minus 11 plus 1 is minus 10. Therefore you go from minus 10 to minus 9, from minus 9 to minus 8, all the way up to minus 1. And you can see it doesn't go past minus 1. Now the reason for that is that the stop value here is a 0. So if I was to add 1... To minus 1 you get 0 but with the range function you do not go as far as the number that appears here so we end up with this arithmetic progression here now this is going to be useful when we look at how I'm going to show you an example of using backward indexing across a Python string so let's consider this computer program here we can see the first line is welcome is assigned hello world. Now what that's going to do, it's going to bind the identifier welcome to an instance of the string class that's going to take up the value of hello world. In other words, we'll have an object. But what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to show the value of that particular object. And you can see that I've labeled it with the identifier. In other words, this label here, welcome. And then you can see that we print welcome to the screen so the screen will simply show hello world now in the previous video we've been looking at forward indexing and i'll just quickly show that here and you can see that this particular character in the string is actually welcome zero and we can see that the zero goes to one to two to three all the way up to the ten now that's forward indexing but it within Python we can also backward index and I'm going to show that here and you can see that what happens you actually come to the end of the string here and you mark that as minus one then you come to minus two minus three and you carry on until you get to the beginning of the string which here you can see is minus eleven now the key is why do we start at minus one well the answer is we cannot put a zero here because if we did this particular character would be confused with this one here because this one would also be marked with a zero so you can see with the forward indexing we start at the zero we go to the ten in other words we start at the beginning of the string but with backward indexing we start here at the minus one and we move in this direction minus two minus three minus four and so on so let's look at the runtime for this particular program and we can see it's here so when we execute this line of code print welcome this gets printed on the screen and then of course we enter this here which is an iteration construct which simply means that this particular statement will be executed a number of times and that number of times will depend on this line here and in particular it's going to depend on what this range function sets up now we've just seen an example of the range function in use and I've designed the program so it's going to produce the same range. So let's have a look at this particular one here. You can see this is taking the length of welcome and if you look at welcome it's holding hello world so that is 11 characters. And what I'm doing I'm multiplying that by minus 1 and clearly that's going to give minus 11. So that's the start value. So it's going to point to this particular character here because that has the index of minus 11. We can see here that the stop value is a 0. And the step is a 1. 
So when we come here to execute this the first time we go into the loop, i will be taking up the value of minus 11. So this welcome i here is welcome minus 11, which is this one here. So that h gets displayed on the screen here. Of course, we now go back into the loop and we execute this. But of course, because this is a 1, we've gone from minus 11 to minus 10. Consequently, we now pick this one from the string. And this e gets displayed here. We now go into the loop again. But of course, on this occasion, we've got minus 9 in i. So welcome i here picks up this one and displays that to the screen. Now obviously this print statement is executed 11 times and I'm not going to go through that, it's going to be monotonous. But what we need to know is it is going to go as far as this D and display that there and that's the end. And how do we know it's the end? Because the stop value here is a zero. So it only generates this range function only generates up and to including the minus one because if i was to add this one to minus one i get zero but this is the stop value and if you remember with the range function we do not go up to the stop value we stop before it Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.